Hey, hey everyone, it is Havo High here bringing you another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. We're on Global and I'm doing something a little different uh, today. We're going to have a discussion about kind of like the best teams, the meta that's going on in Global right now, but the best teams um, available based off of the, uh, the, the uh, banners that you're able to summon off at this point in time. And of course the two that uh, you're able to summon off of, and there's, there's other ones, but the main ones right now is, um, if I can get this to load, uh, is uh, Int Gogeta and, um, and Strength Janemba. But within these two banners, in, in uh, the Strength Janemba banner, is the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, which is a category lead. And then within the Int Gogeta banner, there is the physical Omega Shenron. Um, so I want to talk about those four in particular because in my opinion at this point in time it could be argued that it is best in, uh, the best meta, the best in slot teams available at this point in time. I'm still preferable to extreme uh, physical uh, but the category leads are so powerful and, and I really want to focus on those four and rank them from bottom fourth place all the way to the first place and how I'm gonna rank them number uh, various different reasons I'm gonna rank them for uh, for uh, and you might disagree and comment below if you do disagree is gonna be uh, friend availability because of how the friend system is right now um, it, it, unfortunately how, how the friend system is right now I have to consider that is it gonna be available for you to get the same leader and get the same friend easily or you're gonna have to search and search and search uh, the second is just overall performance of the team and in Dokkan it's about hitting hard now defense and tanking is uh, uh, needed like during boss rush and things of that nature but if you're just doing Dokkan events uh, really any four any uh, any of these four teams can do Dokkan events very easily um, but overall performance and and, and maybe even ease of getting the card as well so uh, so we'll talk about that so we'll start by fourth place and once again you can disagree with me if you like but we're gonna start with fourth place with strength Janemba and you might go oh no strength Janemba is such an amazing card he is an amazing card and he actually will be the only card that uh, let me actually go to that team um, the only uh, team that would you can use two um, uh, LRs in there, but at this point in time, because Strength Janemba is not going to be widely used uh, and it's going to be easy to get as a friend, it, 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 unfortunately, it might not be the best at this point in time. And um, you can see kind of a different team here. I think kind of ideal at this point in time, uh, if you have these cards here, this could be a fantastic team. The links aren't as as good as some of the other teams I'm going to be talking about, the links and how it works, but overall the cards in itself, they can do some quite damage and you have dual AOEs with um, Strength Perfect Cell, which I have not done on Awaken yet, I just got him by the way, and then with uh, LR Broly, he can be, this team could be very, very versatile and the performance could be very, very good. And the reason why I put uh, Fat Boo there is for orbs because of the link issues that this team might have and he changes orbs uh, uh, let me see so he changes orbs let me go grab them real quick uh, right here. he changes uh, let's see changes int orbs into strength orbs so so that's that's important if, if you're having issues with uh, getting enough key, um, you know, especially with LR Broly and, and, and Perfect Cell, you want to make sure you get that AOE off on there. So that this team here could be a great team here, but there's some substitutions you can use. Uh, you can do Super Saiyan 4 because Super Saiyan 4 Goku, his passive is so strong. His passive um, is 150. Um, attack on his passive and that is so powerful even though he's only going to get 50% boost from the Janemba 100% total uh, when you have the friend it's still a, an amazing card you can actually use now if you want a little bit little bit more versatility you can actually use uh, that Gogeta which I kind of started with there 
and the reason why I would probably use my Gogeta is because he's rainbowed, um, and he has that opportunity to uh, uh, break guard uh, against people's guard and have that type of advantage. So he's a fantastic card to use on this team, so that might be an option there. However, there is one card that's not out yet on Global, and I'll talk about that right now, is is uh, Strength the Support uh, Hit, or the Strength Hit. Uh, he is the support unit, and the support units uh, basically give 40% to attack and defense to all extreme types. And he's a fantastic card uh, uh, to get, and it's, and, and it's needed if you want to have a kind of best in slot there. So the support card that's going to be available hopefully down the road here. And then you can use uh, LR Frieza there and just wreck, wreck uh, teams. And, but once again, would have maybe a little bit of key issue. And like I said, friend friend issue might be uh, a problem there. So uh, let's go move on to number three. And it was hard. Number three and number two were pretty neck and neck. But I said number three is uh, is the Omega Shenron uh, team. And that's uh, over here. And the reason why I said this team uh, is number three once again after this few weeks of summoning for uh, Omega Shenron and things of that nature, he might not show up very regularly in the friends, unfortunately. And I wish they would f uh, fix the friend system. Uh, but these are basically the best in slot cards you can use uh, with no really no substitution. There's nothing better than these six cards on a team uh, you might say well I can use Nova Shenron things of that nature but these are it and uh, when you can have both category leads on one team this is a fantastic fantastic team so uh, the, uh, Omega Shenron is a 150 lead category lead and that's of course going to be better than the 120 um, but he kind of has, uh, besides these three cards, which is Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, uh, it kind of drops off tremendously on the final three uh, in, in best in slot. Uh, the Shen Shenron is going to be great because he debuffs. He uh, minus 30% uh, off of defense. Uh, but he only really works well with Omega Shenron. So he links up best friend, things of that nature. But then you're going to have to uh, link up your Gogeta with your Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta to really max that out. But then you have your floaters. Uh, Pan is going to be your support. You might go, well, why do you want to use Pan? Well, she, she gives attack and defense by 30% to all allies as long as your HP is above 30%. So she's you know, needed uh, to for that little extra buff there. And then um, Super Saiyan... Uh, Trunks GT, he's just an additional individual. He does 100% uh, with performing an SA, and he's going to be just a floater on that end. So, uh, overall, I think this is a fantastic team. Not much substitution here. If you don't have all these cards here, you're not going to run optimally. And once again, that's why he, that he fell into the third place here. So then you might go, well, who's second place? Well, second place is the best. 120 team at this point in time and that is Int Super Gogeta. Um, this team is amazing. Just just wrecks people. Uh, hits really hard and uh, especially with LR Gohan along with uh, Int Gogeta is one of the hardest hitters uh, because of that type advantage that he always has with, uh, with his passive. Uh, the best 120 lead uh, card by itself, but then creating this team here is tremendous here. So you have, um, like I said, uh, LR Gohan, but then you have uh, Rage Trunks here, which I need to get him the Super Attack 10, working on that. He is, oops, low battery. Uh, he is, uh, let me charge up here real quick. He is a, uh, a nuker. So his passive provides 15% uh, for every int uh, orb obtained. So uh, very beneficial uh, for this. For another slightly harder hard hitter there. But then you also have kind of a 
a hard hitter plus a defensive individual, and that's um, um, uh, Vegito Blue. <laughs> I can't even talk right now. Vegito Blue. Uh, I'm sorry, Vegeta Blue. Uh, it's a hundred percent attack, but he and when he's fighting extreme types, it gives a nice little debuff on attack and defense minus twenty percent. So helps out try to quite a bit. Uh, and then when you do a super attack, he also raises his attack by three turns, so he hits really really hard uh, on there and can be used really really well. So you have four cards that hits really hard. <laughs> And uh, and they were they're just going to be crushing crushing teams. So what are the last two? The last two actually cards you can use are both support units. Uh, oops. Uh, in Kid Gohan here, since we're using all super types, uh, he increases uh, the uh, the super types plus three int plus three plus uh, forty percent to attack and defense. Amazing buff, uh, definitely best in slot when using this team here. And then if you want an even additional buff, you're going to use this Pandel here, and she is uh, plus 30, additional 30% to all allies. So talk about just floating those two floaters there, just buffing up the hard hitters. Uh, unfortunately, they don't tank very, very well at the end. So with maybe not tanking very well, you can sub this Pandel for possibly... Uh, Piccolo, and then Piccolo then provides, um, that's using this team here, Piccolo provides a, uh, a tanker, and then has allies defense plus uh, 5,000, which is not a percentage, it's a flat rate, but still beneficial as an option there, and then if we'll, of course it will increase the HP because he's a, he's a LR there, so that's a good option, but I think probably uh, best in slot would look something like this with the Pandel, and just hit hard for everybody. So finally... Finally, who's number one? Well, I think number one is oh, is the Gogeta, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. 150 lead with, you can add the best 120 uh, card in the game, the Neo God, Neo God card in the game, and that's, we just talked about Int uh, Gogeta there. Having those two as hitters just starts to wreck wreck every team in the place there right now as of right now uh, you're you're basically using uh, uh, go tanks right now but you're using got tanks you're using the tech one uh, the physical one isn't out yet on on, uh, on global and uh, but when fist tanks comes out uh, he will replace uh, the tech one there and it's gonna make it kind of a physical team but still, the rest of the cards are going to be support, and uh, those three cards in itself just, like I said, just tear anybody apart and any team apart there. And overall, there it's it's a very good balanced team uh, because when you use um, the uh, Super Saiyan Go Tanks, the two year anniversary one, he gives he gets a hundred percent attack, but he and he also seals. So he is a great, great card uh, to use, and he's gonna uh, typically linked up with the Go Tanks or uh, uh, or the Gogeta there. So he's a great card to use, uh, and then the support. Uh, uh, the support I just mentioned before, the Pandel, she gives 30% to all allies. You might go, well, what's Weirus doing here? Well, Weirus is a fusion card. And he is actually one of the best cards as an orb changer because he is the only card right now that changes two different orbs into one orb, which is physical orbs. Uh, and he gets an attack and defense 50% uh, uh, buff there. He doesn't hit too hard. He's still a fantastic, fantastic uh, card to have. And I think this right here is a perfect team. You never have any issues with key. Um, very very versatile and one of the reasons why I have uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta as the number one spot is the friends list you can always find a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta because Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta came out so early in global a lot of people picked him up and then he's coming back again on this banner here so I think a lot of people are gonna have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta but the question is will have where they have the supporting cast to run it now of course if you don't have Int Gogeta you can run uh, uh, strength Gogeta 
uh, and when Fist Tanks comes out, you're going to replace him with God Tanks there. Now you could use, if you say you want you want another harder hitter, you could use Barlot right here. And Barlot, typically you, you kind of want to actually change the Pandel, so I kind of messed up on this picture here. You want to change the Pandel and keep Weirus with Barlot because uh, Barlot is a nuker. Where is Barlot at? Here it is. And he's a nuker here. And he gets uh, a pretty nice uh, nuking ability. He a nuker and kind of a defensive uh, unit here. Attack and defense. Uh, attack plus 15% and defense 10% per key sphere obtained. So pretty good uh, on that end. But still, I think Weirus is best in slot on this team. Uh, because of that double orb change there. If I can find him. He always sneaks away from me. There he is. So I think this team here, best in slot. Now, if you might disagree with me, but Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta Fusion's team just wrecks everything, and it will continue to wreck everything uh, well into uh, where JP is right now, where the category leads are the meta. Uh, but this card came out way too early. You guys knew about the whole to be released kind of thing, and it's still very early because all the 120 leads still haven't come out. Uh, the Neo, the Neo God leads have not come out on uh, on global yet. So anyway, if this is your first time here, like, subscribe, comment below if you disagree with me, if you agree with me. Uh, but hey, just figured I have this discussion with you. Hopefully, catch you next time. And keep on dull conning.